Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, that was uh, Dave Von Kleist and uh, a song from Dave. Oh, we have somebody on the phone there. Coming. We have a caller. Hang on a minute there. Um, hi, caller. How are you doing there? You're on the air. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hi, caller. Hello. Hi. Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, h- hello. I- is this Domino's Pizza? Uh, no, this is an OIM caller. You're on the air. Where are you calling from? Uh, well, I'm, I'm an underground bunker in, in Colorado. Can you deliver here? Uh, I think you might be a bit confused, caller. This is Open Your Mind Radio. What's your name? Oh, oh, I am. <laughs> oh, oh, I am. I, I'm C.W. Bush. Uh, what have I got to do to get a pizza delivered here anyway? Who is this? Uh, what? This is OIM Internet Radio in Ireland. Oh, you are in Ireland. <laughs> I, I guess you don't you don't deliver here, huh? You guys at Domino's Pizza are too good to deliver to a former president of the United States, aren't you? <laughs> uh, hang on, is this George Bush? Uh, yes, and I, and I want a mushroom cloud pizza. Right, oh, okay, okay. Mr. President, well, you've reached Open Your Mind Radio in Ireland, and you're on the air. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, well I'll tell you what. I, I want all your, your listeners to know that Domino's Pizza refused to deliver to an underground base in Colorado. Well, Mr. President, you must have dialed the wrong number, but uh, listen, we're glad you're on. Welcome to the program. Uh, well, I always get my sixes and nines mixed up anyway. I, I can't figure that one out. Oh, okay. Well, listen, as long as we have you on the phone, can you uh, spend a little time with us? Uh, yeah, well, my mom always said I was Liz Dexic. Uh, anyway, sure, yeah, okay. Uh, why not? I haven't been on the air for a while. Go ahead. Okay, well, great. Uh, well, first off, uh, what do you think of the current oil crisis? Oil crisis? You know, I got a mechanic that's supposed to keep up with my car maintenance. I don't worry about that stuff. No, 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 no. I meant the oil shortage. Well, well, I guess he can't put oil in my car if there's a shortage, can he? <laughs> and they call me stupid. <laughs> uh, well, okay, well, Mr. Bush or, or George, do you mind if we call you George? Oh, sure. That's okay. Just just don't call me Junior. My mama, mama calls me Junior, and I hate that. Okay, George. Junior, junior, junior. Oh, okay, George. Um, listen, uh, back to the oil shortage. Uh, do you know there was a huge oil spill in the Gulf? Yeah, I heard about that, but I'm in Colorado. I mean, the, the, the Gulf is, heck, it's at least 100 miles away. So, somewhere near Texas. Uh, okay, okay, George. Never mind, George. Never mind. Uh, let me ask you this one. Um, when you were in power, did you use false flag operations to legitimize invading Afghanistan and Iraq? Uh, um, they, they hate freedom. Yeah, that's it. They hate freedom. George, what are the attacks on September the 11th planned? Uh, yeah, yeah, and we're going to get them. We'll, we'll get them good. Uh, George? My daddy, daddy and I want peace. Uh, really? Yeah, a piece of Europe, a piece of Asia, a piece of <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Boy, George. A piece of Britain, a piece of Britain Spears. <laughs> well, okay, let's move on. Okay, do you agree with uh, t- dictatorships? Yeah, well, sure, as, as long as I'm a dictator. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, George, how did you know that Saddam Hussein had chemical and biological weapons? Well, well, heck, that's easy. My, my daddy sold it to him when, when he was vice president under the Reagan administration. Oh, okay. Uh, and, okay. Is that why your father denied that there was WMDs in the Gulf War? <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And so many of the troops got sick. Well, well, we all know they didn't feel good when they got home, but but that's 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 what they call PTSD. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Um, but in the second Gulf War, you said Saddam Hussein had chemical, biological weapons, despite the fact that the UN inspector said that all those weapons had been destroyed, and that Saddam Hussein didn't have them. Uh, um, they hate freedom. Oh. Okay, D- listen, uh, George, did you invade Iraq on the false pretenses? Uh, uh, let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my! Did you really think that you could fail the American people and the world? Well, you know, I've heard this before because 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 there's there's an old saying in Texas. I don't know, maybe it, maybe it was in Tennessee, but I think it was in Texas. It was uh, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Uh, fool me twice, uh, uh, or, or freeze a charm. Uh, freeze a crowd. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, George, uh, I can I can see we won't be getting getting any straight answers on this one. Let's let's uh, move on a bit there, George. Things, things happen in freeze, uh, something like that. Uh, oh, George. Three three times a lady. Oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, right, George. Um, listen, George. President Clinton wrote a book of his about his memoirs with over ten thousand words in it. Are you planning to do a book? Uh, oh yeah, sure. I, I could do better than that. Uh, they they say that a picture's worth a thousand words, and, and I got lots of pictures. <laughs> okay. Are, are you saying you're going to do a picture book for for your memoirs? Well, well, yeah. Heck, sure. Why not? I mean, it'll have cute little pop ups and, and little tags that you can pull. I mean, I mean, that, think about it. You know, uh, who ever heard of a presidential memoir book with with pop up pull up peekaboo books? You know, I mean. Pull this tab here and peek boo <laughs> There's Bill <Ben> Laden. <laughs> Pull this tab and bingo. There's Saddam Hussein. <laughs> oh, seriously, George. Good God. I know, seriously. I mean, pull, pull this tab and whoa, there's a big mushroom car. <laughs> George. <laughs> pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One more question. Do you plan on living in that bunker forever? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, uh, not really. My, my daddy bought a huge piece of land down there in South America, and we're going to set up a shop down there till it stops hitting the fan up here in the States. <laughs> oh, you mean you're going to be leaving the U.S.? Uh, well, yeah, maybe just for a little while. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got a little song for you that, that you might really get a kick out of. You might, you might enjoy it. <laughs> oh, 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 George, well, listen, we'll, we'll, we'll say goodbye for now. We'll, we'll actually, we did get a copy of the song to, uh, certain, uh, people who sent it over there. And I believe you're a big fan of X Factor and might be even thinking about going on. But, uh, well, for now, George, we'll say thank you very much for, for phoning in. And, uh, we will go to the song there. Best of luck getting the pizza. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate that, but, but send me my damn pizza, will you? <laughs> All right, George, uh, we, we, we're going to play your song now. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay, George. Pretty soon there'll come a day My clan will move to Paraguay Whenever you need me, I'll be there. And when the country falls apart, and the people all lose heart, whenever you need me, I'll be there. And what about you, Daddy? Yeah. I'll be there with Barbara too, counting all the money that we stole from all of you. And, and, and I'll be there, cause I'm leaving soon, with lots of slave labor that will leave in some young moon. Son, it took six generations for us to get here. Yeah, Daddy, this finally happened. <laughs> Mercenaries every day Protecting us and Kenny Lane And you'll never find us We'll be there While the whole world goes to war We'll just go home and close the door You do, because highly trained security teams will protect us all from you. And when you suffer, we will have to care, 
We'll be down in South America, because we're safe from you down there. Hey, Daddy, you think they'll have TV down in South America? Well, all I have to do is habla espanol. 